Welcome to the land of Galon, where you will be learning about the customary units of measurement for capacity. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom called Galon. It was a huge kingdom and beautiful, you see. Galon starts with G, so let's draw a big G to help us remember the name of the kingdom. In this kingdom of Galon, there live four queens. Queen starts with Q and so does quartz. There are four quartz in a gallon. So let's draw four Qs inside the kingdom. What does Q stand for? Yes, quartz. Each queen has a prince and a princess. The prince and princess stand for the number of pints in a quart. There are two pints in one quart. There are eight pints in a gallon. So now let's draw two peas inside each Q, which means there are two pints in each quart. Cats were very good pets in the kingdom of Galan. Each prince and each princess had two cats. So that makes four cats in the queen's castle. The C stands for cats and cups. There are four cups in a quart and two cups in a pint. Let's draw two C's inside each P. That stands for two cups for each pint. The land of Galon is quite special, you see. It has been used for generations to help us remember the customary units of capacity. One gallon equals four quarts, one quart equals two pints, and one pint equals two cups. Now it's time to review. Let's use our Land of Galon visual to help us answer these questions. Girls, you can answer the first one. How many quarts are in a gallon? Hold up your fingers to let me know. Yes, there are four quarts in a gallon. Boys, let's see if you can answer this question. How many pints are in a quart? Again, hold up your fingers to let your teacher know. There are two pints in a quart. Good job. Everyone, how many cups are in a quart? Hold up your fingers. Yes, there are four cups in a quart. Last question, how many quarts are in a half gallon? Hold up your fingers. Woo, looks like most of you got it. A half gallon only has two quarts. That one was a little tricky. Thanks for listening and I hope you enjoyed the story.